Hi, my name is Bob from Pluggable Technologies. What I'd like to do today is introduce you to two of our USB hard drive docking station products and show you how they can be used to perform a efficient and redundant backup of important data you may have. So let's take a look at what we have here. What I have here on the right is our pluggable PSS SDH1, uh, which is a single drive docking station with an integrated three port uh, USB 3 hub. And over here we have the PSS DD1, which is a dual drive docking station. Now I'm going to talk more about the dual drive docking station in a moment. For right now, I'm just going to look at the single drive unit here. So, what that allows us to do switch back so you can see is take a drive uh, two and a half inch drive whether it's a traditional disk or solid state and put it inside one of the included enclosures and plug it in like a cartridge so when I plug that drive in in a moment it'll actually mount and be accessible via drive letter now this unit, since it's a single drive dock, um, comes with one of the enclosures, and this one comes with two of them. And I have one open. Here, you can see there's just two plastic halves you separate and then slide back together to protect the drive, because you don't want to necessarily have them floating around bare, as it were. So now that I have that drive plugged in and mounted in Windows, we can see that it shows up as drive A. I've labeled it A for the purpose of this demonstration so you can see it. And there's no data on it right now. So I have a folder here called important data that I want to back up. Now there's a lot of different ways that that can be done and there's a lot of a different opinions out there. But in this instance I want to try and keep things as simple as possible. So to back up my data, I'm going to use a tool called SyncToy that's actually available from Microsoft for free. A lot of people don't know it's out there. And I've already installed that program on the system. Let me minimize this, get rid of it rather. And I'm going to start it right now. Now, there'll be a description uh, in the, a link in the description of the video rather, with a link to download this if you can't find it, but Google will help you find it fairly quickly. And what this allows you to do is define a left and a right folder that serve as both the backup source and destination. And to do that, you create a new folder pair. So it's asking me, what is the left folder? What do you want to back up? I'm going to browse and select my important data folder. And then for the right folder or the destination, I'm going to browse again. And in this case, simply select my new drive as the backup. Now that that's done, I can click Next. It's asking me to make a name for this pair. I'm just going to call it Backup, but you could name it anything you want. And what it's going to show me in a moment is it's created this pair showing the left and the right side and the action it's going to take. And it's going to take an action by default called synchronize, where it's going to synchronize the contents of both of those destinations automatically. Now, in a future video, we'll talk more about those options. But for right now, I'm going to leave that by default. And I'm going to go ahead and click Run. So what it's going to do is show the progress. I've only got a small amount of files on here for the demonstration, so it can go pretty quickly. And show me the total number of files that it's copied. So I'm going to say close. And I'm going to close SyncToy. And what I can see now here is in that important data folder, I have a folder called Useful Screenshots. And if I open up another Explorer window and now look at the content of Drive A, you can see it's the same data. So it's copied everything 
that I wanted to back up and synchronized it. So that's great. I have a backup copy of my data, but it's not necessarily the safest method to have in that I have the original on the machine and I have the backup on the external drive, but something could happen to both of these if I kept the drive near it and you know there was an electrical problem in my office there could be any number of things that happened so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that drive home I'm not really gonna do it in the video but you can go along with me for just a moment and what I'm gonna do is plug that into one of our dual drive docking stations now just wait for this to eject I'm going to plug it into the dual drive dock. Now what's unique about the dual drive dock and why I wanted to speak about it later is that it has a feature that allows you to clone the drive in the rear slot to a drive in the front slot. Now what that means is that I can take another drive such as this, not terribly creatively called B for this demonstration, plug it into the front and this dock isn't even plugged into a computer there's a cord going to it it's just power and there's an option in the back to push a button that will start a clone process that will make drive B an exact clone of drive A now why would you want to do that it does a couple things it allows me to have multiple copies of the data by having three copies the original on the laptop the copy the backup and now a copy of the copy, if I keep those all in separate locations, the odd of all of them at the same time being destroyed or lost or stolen is fairly remote. It also allows me to have a number of drives and we sell just the enclosures for additional drives if you want to add more of them that allow you to rotate through this process and keep that three copy scenario going so that if there were to be a fire in my office or I would have lost one or one would be stolen I will always have a viable copy of my backup data so in short you can use our USB hard drive docking stations to not only add additional storage to your system but also with sync toy and adding in one of our dual drive docks have a fairly redundant backup regimen for your important data. Thank you for watching.